All right, Falcons fans, we got some draft stuff to talk about here in just a moment. But our challenge to you, can we reach 10,000 subscribers before the start of NFL free agency? We're less than two weeks away. We need 200 more. So which Falcons fans are going to rise to the challenge? Hit that subscribe button. We're bringing you guys about five Falcons videos a week. And with that being said, we'll go ahead and jump on in to today's show. Falcons today by Chat Sports coming at you here on a Thursday. I am Harrison Graham. And on today's show, we got a full tracker of everyone the Falcons have uh, met with so far at the NFL Combine and interviewed. So we will break that down. Still some uh, meetings to be announced, uh, formal and informal. So keep that in mind. This is just kind of what we know up to this point. Let's talk about the name that's really garnered a lot of attention. That is Tyree Wilson, the edge rusher out of Texas Tech, and he actually measured in today at the Combine at 6'6", 271 pounds, and Tyree Wilson is a physical specimen. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. He might go top five. Like, I, there's a real chance that when the Falcons pick at eight, uh, he's, not, he's not there. But if he is, I think this would be a great pick. He can kick inside. He can play out in that three-man front uh, that Atlanta's uh, known for running. I think uh, putting him at defensive end is a perfect fit. Uh, he's a freak athlete. I'm excited to see how he tests. And also, I think of note, too, Daniel Jeremiah – of uh, NFL Network, their draft analyst, said that there's two players he's heard have crushed the interviews the most, have drawn rave reviews. One, Texas Tech's Tyree Wilson, and then also Notre Dame tied in Michael Mayer. So not only would you be getting a player with a lot of ability, but someone who could be a face of a franchise. He actually told the Chicago Bears, uh, he said when he met with them, that, hey, I'm ready to be a face of a franchise. So uh, that's exciting to hear. You want players who are confident, well-spoken, and uh, and uh, connect well in these interviews. That's why they take place. So I think he's definitely a name to monitor for the Falcons, especially if he's sitting there with the number eight pick. Let's talk about Miles Murphy, who's up next, as the Clemson edge rusher has been linked to Atlanta as well. Uh, they have met with him. Uh, now, he measured in at 6'5", 258. He was actually a tick lighter than I thought he would be. Uh, but there's also been some buzz that he could be sliding, slipping a little bit uh, in this draft. Uh, several Draft analysts have him dropping outside of the top 10, which I find interesting. I'm curious to see how he tests as well. He claims that he's going to run in the mid four fives in the 40. If he does that, I think he'll sneak back up draft boards. But really good run stopper in college, inconsistent pass rusher. I think he's got to get better uh, in that regard. But I think he is certainly uh, a talented player and someone that could uh, fit in really nicely uh, on this Falcons defense, especially if he can polish up his pass rushing game. Let's talk about Lucas Van Ness, the edge out of Iowa, who's been uh, gaining some steam. I believe he weighed in at over 270, so a bigger player, kind of like Tyree Wilson. Uh, he's kind of been trending in the opposite direction. His draft stock has been rising uh, over the past few weeks, um, and he's got a lot of physical traits. Uh, he's big, he's fast, he's strong. Um, he can kick inside out. He's got that versatility, good run stopper, pass rushing ability. I like Van Ness. Now, I would still for sure take Tyree Wilson over him, but it's possible he could go ahead of a guy like Miles Murphy, uh, which is certainly uh, interesting as well. Uh, so keep an eye on this name. This is someone who could sneak into the top 15. Number eight might be a little rich, but uh, maybe Atlanta trades down a few spots and takes someone like Lucas Van Ness or Miles Murphy. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to trade down to draft Tyree Wilson. So, Pick an edge rusher. Type TW for Tyree Wilson, MM for Miles Murphy, uh, VN for Lucas Van Ness. Uh, get your uh, thoughts down in the comment section below. Which edge rusher would you like to draft? How about Keon White, who's also got some versatility as well, can kick inside a little bit as uh, the Georgia Tech edge rusher has also been moving up in recent weeks. Uh, now he's older. He's 24, so he's a bit of an older prospect, had a longer college career, but uh, he's a talented player uh, that can stop the run and rush the passer. Uh, I think the good news for Atlanta – in general, is this is a loaded defensive line draft, not just in the first round either. You can get guys on day two uh, that can be productive, kind of like Byron Young. I think he could be a guy in the third round potentially even uh, that is sitting there. Um, not 
one of you know the most traditional Nick Saban Alabama players. Or, ah, he's going top ten, but uh, he's got some ability for sure, and uh, could be an option if the Falcons go in a different direction in round one. Uh, someone to look at there on day two of the NFL draft. You notice anything here? Catching a theme, uh, a lot of linebackers and defensive line players because they are the players who are doing things first at the combine. Met with reporters yesterday, weighing in and doing workouts today. Uh, so as the week progresses, different uh, position groups uh, will get more involved. Uh, uh, defensive backs spoke to reporters today. Quarterbacks, receivers, running backs arrive tomorrow. So uh, very fluid situation as the NFL combine is starting to heat up. Now, what is the Falcons' biggest position of need? Ironically, I do think it is on that defensive line. you got to get some pass rushers. So let me know. Is it defensive end? Is it defensive tackle? Uh, get your votes in down in the comments section below. Let us know what you think the biggest need is for Atlanta. All right, we got this crew neck uh, long sleeve on sale. It's just classic. You just the gray with the Atlanta Falcons and the logo in there. And you guys can pick one up, chatsports.com slash Falcons crew. That link will be in the description and in the comments of this video. Pick up and represent the Falcons today with that link. So click and shop by checking out the description. All right, uh, we'll kind of go a little bit faster. Some lesser names. Uh, Alabama's DJ Dale at defensive tackle. Not the most productive college career, but um, a guy later in the draft uh, that could be uh, an option for Atlanta. Uh, Louisville uh, linebacker Yaya Diaby. Uh, one of the better names in the draft. Uh, but uh, in terms of uh, where he'll go, probably later on. Uh, but obviously... Atlanta is going to have some interest in bolstering this defense, especially uh, on that front seven. So Diaby could be a linebacker option. Maybe Owen Papali or uh, Popo as well, the uh, linebacker out of Auburn. Uh, he's a later option in the draft uh, as well. So keep an eye on these lesser names too. It's not just about the big name uh, prospects, although that's what we'll focus on here at Falcons today. Uh, but uh, the good GMs, uh, they find gems later in the draft as well. So hopefully – uh, Fontenot was able to do that. Okay, who is your favorite draft prospect this year? Even if it's someone you don't think the Falcons will or even should draft, who is your favorite uh, NFL draft prospect for 2023? Drop that name down below. A couple more, Shaka Hayward, the linebacker out of Duke. Hey, I'm repping Shaka here uh, with the blue tee, but uh, I've actually uh, watched him a little bit as he uh, pretty good in coverage. Uh, I think he'd be an instant impact player on special teams also. Jamie Robinson which uh, what did he say on the YouTube short we put out, Roly? Uh, didn't we put out uh, something on him? Hey, listen, he uh, he wants to be a Falcon. That may or may not be true, but uh, uh, the defensive back out of Florida State, another player uh, that uh, has met with uh, Atlanta, uh, that being Jamie Robinson. All right, Bird Gang, uh, that's it for now. That's uh, kind of our draft tracker visits. Uh, we'll uh, monitor who else they are slated to meet with over the next couple of days, so be on the lookout for that. I'm Harrison Graham signing off here on Falcons Today.